Greetings and salutations. It's your American truck driver here, Christopher Babylon, coming with a very fascinating story that I came across last night as I was heading off to bed. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to restate that there is no way that I am representing any kind of company. This is just my opinion and my thoughts on interesting stories of truck driving. As you know, I try and keep my stories as unpolitical as possible. Neutral. I leave all the political stuff up to the other YouTubers. However, because of this story, in recent comments, I should say, about a certain branch of our government that people are talking about wanting to abolish and get rid of. I'm going to get a little political here. Uh, border Customs needs to stay in place and it's for this very reason. This story right here, which I got off of CDLLife.com over 18 million dollars worth of narcotics seized by customs border at our southern border coming in from Mexico. Now, over my abundant years of truck driving, I have hauled many a load of frozen vegetables from Mexico. They come across the border and I pick them up and I take them to wherever. FYI for all you out there, you might pass this to your friends. Save on value. Pick sweet. Uh, bird's eye. All come from Mexico. So if you want to go organic and all that, make sure it's local. Anyways, getting back to the story. They decide to try and be sneaky and hide this in a semi-truck full of frozen broccoli. Now, them drug dogs are some smart critters. And I don't care what you do, you are not going to get past them. Uh, I, Like I said, I've dealt with frozen vegetables, especially frozen broccoli, and let me tell you what, that stuff stinks to high heaven. Minus 10 degrees, and you can smell it just permeating out of the back of an insulated trailer. It is that awful. <laughs> I thought something was rotten, and then I first load I ever got, and come to find out it's frozen broccoli. And I open it up, it's like, yep, it's the same as when the doors are closed. So, yeah, getting back to it. So, they were uh, at a warehouse with a semi-truck, getting inspected. Uh, right there at the border and of course the do drug dog alerted and they opened it up and they even had high technology unobtrusive cameras which means they were able to snake it in through all the load and look around modern technology for you so our tax money is doing something well and they found 432 packages. 341 of them worth a street value of $18 million was methamphetamines. 87 packages of Mary Jane. Marijuana, for those of you who don't know, $40,000 street value. Three packages of heroin at 30, 353 thousand dollar street value and one package of cocaine and that was uh, valued at only twenty five thousand five hundred dollars so someone's mad <laughs> anyways the truck was confiscated as well um this happened on the 18th of february However, I'm pretty sure that they kept it quiet till now so they get the rest of the people that were involved, like those who were going to pick it up and, and whoever else was involved. I support 
our border and customs agents. I support our ICE agents because without them, A, more people would die and B, more of this garbage would be getting on our streets and killing more people, especially the methamphetamine and heroin. So, I support them. It's a job. It's a dangerous job. One of the top 10 dangerous jobs in the United States. They catch all the flack and none of the credit. And I got to give credit where credit is due. These people put their lives on the line to keep us safe from garbage like this getting out on the streets and killing our kids. So, like I said, CDLLife.com. You get a chance, look it up. And uh, I'll uh, keep this uh, going. Uh, if I get more information about it, I'll pass it on or anything other big like this. Uh, other brief news, uh, there was another frozen uh, refrigeration truck company went out of business in Florida. Uh, CCL, Central Cooling Logistics, but it wasn't a big company. It was mom and pop shop. Uh, they closed uh, due to bankruptcy. They filed back in 2019, September of. And, of course, they couldn't find a buyer, so therefore they had to close their doors. Uh, like I said, this is not a very big deal. As of right now, we're still hiring. We're still running. And, it, be honest with you, I could use all the help I can get. Uh, so, let's just keep the news going. And... Any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. So until next time, keep the rubber side down and be safe out there on the highways of life. I'll talk to you all later.